Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moisture bringing you guys another video. This video is a highly requested video over on Twitch. People in the chat always ask about this. And also in the YouTube comments, a lot of you guys have been asking, Motion, can you show us ramp rushing tips? And that is actually exactly what we're doing in today's video. But the reason I think this is such a good tip and trick video is because 90% of the fights start off with ramp rushing. You gotta you gotta start with ramp rushing and stuff like that. And you gotta get good at it in order to be basically top tier players so if you're not good at ramp rushing you're just going to be another no skin noob that doesn't know what they're doing so in today's video we're going to change that from being a no skin noob that doesn't know how to do it to at least a decent player where you're going to be able to actually get some kills and stuff like that and solo squads duels anything like that but before we start the video if you guys please can i need your help i really do need your help i know some of you guys want to see me compete this saturday in keemstar's five thousand dollar tournament but i cannot compete in it without you guys i need your guys' help so basically, if you guys go over to my Twitter, on my Twitter page, Exotic Motion, you guys can click on the link in the description below. It's the very top link. Click on that link. On that Twitter page, I have a pinned tweet talking to UMG Gaming and Keemstar. I added both of them, and I basically said, YouTube channel with over 135,000 subscribers and 5,500 plus on Twitch followers. My viewer base would love to see me in the competitive tournament, even if someone needs a teammate, I'll team with them at YouTube, uh, Twitch, and UMG. I, I left a link for all my stuff like that. I need you guys to go over there, like that tweet, and retweet that tweet. Please, I need everyone, if you guys please can, show some love, show some support, go over there and retweet that tweet. That's the only way I'll be able to actually have a chance to compete in this tournament. I still don't know if it's going to work or not because this, this tournament is kind of based off of live streams. They're not really looking for the YouTube subscriber mark. They're looking for the number of viewers that the live stream gets. And we're not yet there. So I don't know if we're going to get in it. But with your guys' help, hopefully we can. So please, if you can, go down in the description below before this video starts. Hook me up, guys. Please hook me up. And with that being said, let's start the video. Basically, a lot of people have questions about, yo, how do you ramp rush? How do you do this? How do you do that? And that's exactly where we're going to actually talk to you guys in today's video. Now, ramp rushing, basically, if you don't know what that is, it's when you see an enemy and the enemy sees you, the first initial reaction. Some people build a one by one and they sit there and some people like to get aggressive and use their shotguns. So they build ramps to rush them. That's basically what it is. They build these ramps to protect themselves and to rush them. Or if they see a one by one, you're playing solos and you see a one by one base, a lot of people will ramp rush into that one by one base and that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video we're going to show you guys some tips and tricks in order to become actually pretty good at that so we're in a solo game right now i'm going to go into wailing woods hopefully there's not too many people there i'm going to try to take it over and then once we take it over i'm going to show you guys different scenarios and how you're supposed to do ramp rushing specifically now the reason i'm going to wailing woods this is not part of the tips and tricks is because i can get as much wood as i possibly can so that way i can show you guys all the tips and tricks into ramp rushing and stuff so that's why i'm going to wailing woods now this isn't a suggestion this isn't a tip for you guys um this is just 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 for me so i can help you guys out with the tips Okay, well now we took care of that guy. And that guy. Let's get some wood. Thing that sucks is now that we're not, in, the circle isn't in Willing Woods, I'm gonna have to move to Tomato Town, but it's fine. As long as I have 999 mats, I think that'll be enough to give you guys a few pointers and tips and stuff like that in order to learn how to successfully ramp rush a person. All right, guys, now that we have, I actually ended up getting some brick as well. I have 900 wood and 700 brick, which is actually fairly, actually really, really good. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a one by one base. Now this one by one base is usually what you guys see people hiding in like right for instance you'll see people hiding in a one by one base when you're playing solo so this is a one by one base that people usually hide in whenever they're playing solos they'll sit here waiting for people to come or waiting for people to run by so this is 
basically your normal one by one base now what i mean by ramp rushing is how to get up there and actually kill him if i have a shotgun so say i'm rushing him now what you don't want to do is you don't want to run up to right here and then start building because i'm already way too low i want to try to get above him now what i mean by getting above him is having my ramps end above him so that way i'm looking down at him so you want to start usually farther back you got to determine on how tall the base is on how far back you have to go so basically this is a good enough spot right here so if this person is in this base i want to start building like right here so that way i can actually get above the person as you guys can see now i'm above the person and i can shoot down at them without having to be eye level with them because some people what they end up doing is they build a ramp and it comes to about this level and by the time they're right here to look at them the other person already knows it and he's third person peeking and all he has to do is just Boop, shoot you and you're dead just like that so you never want to hit the same level as the person you want to always try to hit one level higher than the person so that way you can look down at them and you're not going to die right away now this is the basic very basic step a uh, very basic tip for you guys if you want to try to ramp rush somebody now i want to show you guys something real quick that if you if you actually end up doing this right here let me destroy that real quick. Now, if I'm ramp rushing this person and he's shooting at me and I'm doing those normal basic stairs like this where there's no support underneath me, all they have to do is shoot down the bottom one and I'm instantly dead just like that. I mean, I fall down and then he has high ground advantage. So what you want to do is you want to put a wall or stairs, a wall, stairs, a wall, stairs, a wall, stairs, a wall. This better fortifies yourself. You can even go up higher to get above him even more. Better fortifies you. Now, when you're right here, this is kind of tricky because there's nothing underneath you to support. So if you can, put a floorboard underneath you to support yourself. Now, this is called the double support. You guys always want to make sure you have some sort of double support. You never want to just take on somebody without having this double support because then they'll just kill you instantly and it's not going to be good. So, for instance, I have to shoot two of these in order to knock down the structure so it takes a little bit longer now i'm gonna show you guys another technique that you see pros using now instead of using the uh if you can't switch from that quick enough i'm gonna show you guys a little technique that can actually help out um if you if you're not good at switching or anything like that all you guys have to do is you just can do a double stair set a double stair set works just as fine it's not as effective but it works just as fine basically what i mean by this is one two one two one two one two one two now this is a double stair set now the reason this is good is because if someone's rushing you with a double stair set this person if he shoots one of them down he has to shoot down the other side so it takes just as long to knock you down so that's why that is actually very very good and helpful now i'm gonna get to the next zone and show you guys an even better technique now another thing i'm gonna build just another one by one right here now this one's not going to be as high uh just because i'm trying to save time and save mats we're in a smaller circle and there's only 15 people so people are going to start rushing me very soon now what you can do another strategy and technique that a lot of pros use this is exactly what you see pros do is they do the double they double ramp double wall double ramp double wall now the reason this is good is because it super protects you from anything now this is a little bit harder this takes a little bit more time um but as you guys can see if I'm this guy, there's no way I'm shooting this down. I got to get through one, two, and then the stairs, three, four things just to shoot them down. So there's nothing I can do as a person right here. So if you're doing this, this is definitely the pro tip. Um, there's nothing the other person can do. They don't know exactly where you're coming from, so it's going to be extremely hard. Now, this does take time. It does take practice. Um, it's even hard for me to do sometimes. When I'm trying to show it on stream or something like that, it's harder to do. But when I'm in the, the heat of the action, I can actually do it fairly easy when I'm in the heat of the action. But uh, sometimes it does get hard. It does take some time. It does take some practice. Uh, if you have turbo building, that definitely helps out a lot. So that way you don't have to keep tapping. And all you have to do is literally just hold R2 and just basically shake your head left and right as quick as you possibly can. Now, that's the best technique that i can give you guys when it comes to ramp rushing now i'm gonna show you guys something real quick um so say this person is in this base right here let me destroy my stairs real quick hopefully i don't get shot at or anything like that just trying to give a tutorial um please everybody leave me alone so basically if i'm trying to rush this person and say i'm i'm lower than them like this and they have high ground and they start looking at me instantly instead of building stairs to try and get up to him and i see he's looking at me Put up a wall right here as quick as you can and put up a wall right here. Just two quick walls. Two quick walls if you're low ground and you cannot get up there quick enough. Instead of turning around and redoing your stairs to come back a little bit more to get above him. Oh, this guy's shooting me. All you have to do is quick and easy. Put a wall here. Put a wall here. And he's going to be shooting at you. So just spam R2. Keep putting up a wall. Quickly put up stairs, stairs, wall, 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 stairs. Now this is how you get high ground on the person without having to go 
any further up, you guys. So this basically works in many ways. So now I have high ground on that person, and it's a lot easier that way. So that's a little tip for you guys. If you're trying to ramp rush somebody and you mess up at first and you're, you're low ground and you're lower than them and you can't do anything about getting above them, that's all you have to do. That quick and easy two walls, stairs helps out tremendously, you guys. It helps out so much. And another thing is whenever you're playing like squads or anything like that, say, for instance, um, ooh, let's get this. Say, for instance, somebody... Okay, so right here, say somebody's in this base. I don't know if anyone's in here or not, but I'm going to put up a wall. Wall. Just a quick... Just because I don't think anyone's in here, I just did it very simple. Um, I know no one's in there, so I just did it very simple. We're out of the circle. I didn't want to waste too many mats, so I just did a simple wall. I didn't do the, the double protection or anything like that. I just did something simple. But say, for instance, you're playing squads and you're ramp rushing, and there's somebody over here to my left and somebody over here to my right. Now, what you want to do is you want to put up a wall. Wall. Protect. Wall, protect, wall, protect. Now, the reason you're doing this is you're protecting yourself from this guy to your left, and then you're getting above this guy. So say now there's somebody over here in front of me, and there's someone to my left. Now you want to put up a wall right here. So that way, all you're doing is focusing this guy, and this guy to your left, he cannot shoot you because you have this wall protecting you. Now, it's only you and this guy. Um, your squad can end up trying to take care of the other guys and stuff like that. So that's basically what you want to do in squads or anything like that, you guys. That's basically the best ramp rushing tips for beginners that i can give you guys i can get more into depth later on in the next video all you guys got to do is give this video a thumbs up show some love if we can break a thousand likes we'll get more into depth on ramp rushing we'll show examples and stuff like that but for now that's all i have for you guys in today's video now let's try to pull off a victory royale That guy knew what he was doing. And now we have mats that easy. So basically, that's building techniques, you guys. I can show you guys tips and stuff on building. Um, all you got to do is just let me know that you want to see building techniques. We're going to rock the... Actually, let's just keep the pump attack combo. There might be someone up here. So how we're going to ramp brush this person, we're going to switch materials, go to metal. So see, now they have high ground. All I have to do is this. And now I have high ground on them, but nobody's in there, so we're just going to get down before we die. Oh, someone's definitely up there for sure. We got to get in the circle, basically. There's only four people left. But it's a tilted tower circle, which means people are probably camping in buildings. Hopefully, we're going to try to get aggressive for you guys so we can show you guys some techniques and stuff. Um, but if I die, it's okay. It's just, it's just me getting aggressive to show you guys. We're doing the double stairs, the easiest thing to do. And the most effective thing to do. Okay, so someone has a launch pad right there. So I guess we can take... Okay, so someone's probably all the way up there. We're going to we're gonna launch pad over here. And I'm going to show you guys... Hopefully, I, I can do this correctly. Um, we're going to show you how to actually ramp rush somebody that's high ground like this. Okay, so no one's in here. Surprisingly, no one is in here. I thought somebody would be in here, but that's basically all... You, okay, he's underneath me. See, camping can only get you so far, you know? See, now we could just sit in our one by one. Now, the reason I put traps right there is because if somebody tries to come up on my ramp or anything like that, I have traps to kill them or anything like that. But now we have two connecting. We have that down there holding up this base, and we have this right here holding up this base because I connected the two. So if anyone starts shooting at the stairs or starts shooting at me from below, I can just jump over to the next one. So I will not die from fall damage. There's this guy over here that's just, I don't know what he's doing definitely a bot in the game um but let's just get rid of him real quick now we're just looking for the last two people they're probably hiding uh when the game's very quiet and slow like this a lot of the time you're gonna find that the last okay see see that guy was trying to destroy my thing and make me fall 
but usually when you get to the last few people if it's quiet like this uh half the time they're pretty bad the last few people are pretty bad at the game all right now we're gonna just chill try and see if we can find this last person never want to underestimate the enemy but he's probably down like there or something just hiding oh probably just down there hiding or something these don't reach which sucks I want to keep high ground though. As long as I can, I'll keep high ground for as long as I can. As you can see, I'm hidden, but I go up to the wall and I can actually see through the wall and it allows me to protect myself completely. And now I see where he is. Oh, he's see, he's doing good. He's putting protection above him and he's trying to climb the mountain. So he's doing good. This person's probably decent at the game. Um, they're putting protection above them and they're building up trying to get above the mountain. As you guys can see, I could not shoot that person for a while because they had the protection. But now... They have no clue where I am. They're probably going to try to open this drop. They think I'm over there, but I'm definitely not. So that's just, she has a, uh, see, I have high ground. I can easily win this. All I have to do is this and it's a GG. Okay. She got out of there, but now she's trapping herself in a spot. She does not want to be in because now she's out of the circle. Now we have high ground on her, which is really good. She's trying to run to the circle. I'm trying to run to the circle. And now she's even lower, which she's doing good. I mean, she's building platforms above her to protect herself, which is really, really what you want to do in a situation like that. Um, but these grenade launchers just, this is OP. There's nothing she could do about it. She's good. She's building to protect herself, but uh, building can only take you so far. She's now one shot. And now we're going to double rush her and get it over with you guys. But that's how you guys basically get a victory royale. It's just basically do a tutorial and then play it out like that. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to head over to my Twitter and please retweet and like that tweet to help me get into that tournament. I'm going to live stream the whole thing for you guys so you guys can watch me try to succeed and win a $5,000. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.